Hi, it's West Hartford dog bite lawyer Ryan McKean here, and today I'm going to talk to you about three things that you need to know if you have been bitten by a dog in West Hartford, Connecticut. The first thing that you need to know about dog bites are that dog bites fall into a category of law called strict liability. And what that means practically is that an owner does not have to be negligent. They don't have to do something wrong, like have their dog off leash or violate some other law. What they have to do, all that has to happen is the dog has to have bitten or knocked you down for them to be strict liability. That is by law in Connecticut. So a dog bite doesn't have to be that the owner did anything wrong. We're not casting any blame. The owner or keeper is liable if strictly liable under Connecticut law if a dog has caused injury or harm to a person. Which brings us to the second point, which is that any dog bite claim in Connecticut is going to be covered by the person's homeowner's insurance. Now, sometimes if there are some exceptions in policies, that's why you want to get an attorney involved as quickly as possible to see if there are any, exclu any exclusions on policies. Sometimes we've seen them when people have a home business and somebody's going uh, on the property, you know, to say a gym or a daycare or some other, uh, some other home business and the dog attacks. Sometimes there are exclusions for specifically dog bites in a commercial kind of case on a homeowner's policy. So you're going to want to get a lawyer involved as soon as possible to, to make sure to identify the proper coverage to see who could be potentially responsible because it may not just be the owner or it may not just be, it could also be the keeper. So say somebody is letting somebody else walk the dog, it is both the owner and keeper who could be liable. So you need an attorney who's gonna go out there and find that insurance, see if there is coverage for the dog bite or the dog knockdown. And the third thing is that if you bring a claim for a dog bite, and a lot of our clients out there, myself included, are dog lovers. They don't want anything bad to happen to the dog. They just want to be compensated for what it is they've gone through. Medical bills, scarring, lost time from work, pain, suffering, anxiety. We've seen surgeries uh, from dog bites, infections, a whole host of things can happen. Um, but it does not mean that the dog is going to be put down. Um, it doesn't mean that at all. It is simply a civil claim to recover money. It, it, it would be an animal warden or police in a local town who's going to decide if there's a dog that's going to be put down. So by you making a claim, you don't have to worry that the dog is going to be put down. It's going to be um, dealt with through their homeowner's insurance. And if you have any questions about a dog bite, you don't hesitate to give me a call. 860-471-8333.